Hi everybody, it is the 9th of February 2022 and the update for PUBG update 16.1 has just gone live on the test server for PC. May well be going live on the console test servers but I have uh, just flashed up my Xbox and haven't seen anything yet. But this is the first update we've had since PUBG went free to play. So let's dive in and have a look at the patch notes. Now this will be going live on public servers shortly probably in the next week or two weeks I would imagine depending on if they find any big bugs on the test servers so uh, let's see what is in note moving forward our monthly patch notes will contain both PC and console updates in a single announcement that's the simple title so that's cool so fingers crossed that will mean that PC and console updates will be pushed at roughly the same sort of time instead of uh, Xbox and PlayStation lagging behind weapon balance we're back with another weapon balance in this update to provide each weapon type a chance to shine in tactical battles and to prevent scenarios where players are all holstering the identical overperforming weapon after we tone down the m416's reload time base damage initial bullet speed and damage drop off range in update 7.2 due, due to the m416 being the most powerful assault rifle and one of the top performing guns in the whole game we noticed our players were gradually dropping their 416 for stronger AR such as the Beryl. However, despite Beryl M762 several nerfs in the past updates, the weapon continues to show strong in-game performance. Additionally, out of all the DMRs, we noticed the SLR was being favoured due to its powerful damage. Therefore, players' options in battle seem to be narrowed down to the Beryl M762 and the SLR. Personally speaking, fully agree. Yeah, I mean. I would always choose the barrel and love the SLR or the SKS, but especially the SLR just seems to knock people down two shots, bang, bang, you know, and they're dead in almost any situation. Yet, we didn't want to stress our players out by nerfing well-used weapons, so instead we've decided to not only bring back M416's stats back up, but we have also buffed the hard-hitting high-velocity Mark 12 while having it spawn in other maps to, prevent, to prompt more frequent 5.56 ammo usage among DMRs, so that's good because didn't the did the Mark 12 did it used to be a crate weapon? I can't remember, but yes, yeah, so, so they're reverting the M416, making it more powerful. The difference always used to be that the 7.62 weapons, like the AK and the barrel, were hard hitting, uh, were harder hitting than the 5.56 weapons, but they had more recoil, so you had to fight to control them more. Where the 416 and the SCAR although they didn't hit quite as hard um, they had less recoil so you could control them more um, and I know I would tend to recently I was pushing for, towards barrel actually the scar I thought the scar was very powerful I would try that but it's nice to see the M416 coming back up um, damage drop off range the distant run okay so the M416 damaged increased from 40 to 41 initial bullet speed from 780 meters per second to 880 so that's quite a lot damage drop off range increased 50 to 60 meters the Mark 12 damage increased 50 to 51. Damage drop off inc damage drop off increased 75 to 90. The Mark 12 now spawn in every available map, normal and ranked. The spawn settings in custom matches have been applied accordingly. There is all right. No, the Mark 12. It, it was a. Um, it was just a. Tago gun, wasn't it? The Mark 12, I think. SMGs and shotguns. We heard and are aware of our players' thoughts on our, on our past weapon balancing on SMGs, shotguns, etc. But the reason as to why it is difficult to actively readjust in-game balancing is due to the requirement of using several months of cumulative data as a foundation to potential changes. Therefore, we will continue tracking our players' feedback and data to bring healthier balances to the game. So they're saying they're not doing anything with SMGs and shotguns. There's now going to be set ranked um, spawn points for the porter in ranked ma matches that is so in ranked when you're on Tago you'll know exactly where to find one of these little um, little truck things map service as the winter season melts, melts away we'll be saying goodbye to Vikendi for a while and welcoming back Karakin to normal matches this season it's a shame Karakin if you haven't played it before Karakin is the smallest PUBG map very 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 small um, very open as well um, suited to very fast engagements um, you can basically get anywhere on the map from the from the initial flight pan and um, yeah 
Um, not one of my, probably my least favorite PUBG map, Karakin. Um, I think what you've got to try and do with Karakin is just embrace the fact that it is almost like a very fast game and use it as an opportunity to practice your your gun fighting skills because it's difficult to be really tactical on Karakin. Lots of third partying happening tend to be on Karakin. I would have liked to see the volcano map coming back, um, but maybe they're doing some updates for it. The rumour is, um, well, I think they may have even confirmed it, that they are working on updates to Sanhok at the moment. So in normal matches, we'll now have Erangel, Miramar, Sanhok, Karakin and Tego. Ranked will be Erangar, Erangar, Erangel, Miramar and Tego. Um, a new ranked season starts with this update, but before you dive right into Season 16, check the Season 15 reward list below to see what rewards you'll be receiving based on the final tier you held in the previous season. There we go, so you can have a look at that. I don't play ranked, so... The colours of Miramar's minimap have been slightly adjusted to represent a clearer and more realistic appearance. UI and UX. The previous list from the friends list has been moved to a separate tab. PUBG friends, platform friends, and previous list. Consoles, the default selection is placed on the page's very first player. Applied to friends list, friend requests, and recent players. Consoles, the selection remains in its current spot when lists are refreshed. Applied to friends list, friend requests, recent players, and team finder. Match report, the summary tab in the match report page now shows players' combat record of kills and down but not outs. Quality of life on PC, they've added um, shortcut keys for sprays. Performance, unnecessary in-game assets, widgets, sounds and animations have been removed from each game mode and platform to enhance in-game stability and loading speed. Anti-cheat, so on the test server they're going to put a different, anti well, an additional anti-cheat um, to combat ESP, uh, a cheat that shows other players' locations. So that's cool, and they're saying basically they're going to apply this to public servers if it works as they want it to but what they are doing is they are um, disabling the death cam and replay features while this is on and then there's various bug fixes um, and that's it really so they don't really go and they don't tell us any dates which is a bit bit of a pain but update 6.1 obviously a very small update so we're just looking at Karakin coming back in Vikendi coming out some balances to the M416 and that's about it really but exciting to see What's coming soon? I mean, I think what we really want from PUBG and what they should definitely be doing is they should be firing all guns with their best maps. I definitely think they should be doing that. And they really should be bringing in a season pass pretty quick so people have got things to grind towards. So now you say bring in a cheap season pass, make it a tenner, maybe even less, but with some nice skins on. So that will keep all those fresh, free-to-play players who have just joined and it will give them something to keep playing the game for. But let's see what happens. Uh, PUBG still got very healthy player numbers on PC. Um, queues for console on Xbox especially have been really quick, been able to get into games, so that reflects higher player numbers as well. So fingers crossed PUBG will be going from strength to strength. But what do you think? Put your questions and comments down below, and I will see you again soon.